Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another Hits and Shits video. If you are new here or you haven't seen any of the other videos in this series, basically this is like an overall summary of all the products that I have loved and hated over the last four weeks. So today we're obviously doing our November hits and shits because it is the start of December and I am festive. You guys already know I'm so excited about Christmas this year. Hence the situation behind me. I've arrived in all my glory. <laughs> I've got quite a few hits in today's video actually. I had a really, really good month of discovering some really amazing, amazing products. I've obviously got a couple of major disappointments as well. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. If you are interested in learning about everything that I have loved and hated throughout the month of November, then please stick around. Now, just quickly before we do jump into the video, make sure you are following me over on Instagram. I'm gonna put my little Instagram thing here. Um, we have some huge, huge, huge holiday giveaways happening over there. They are going to be launching within probably the next week and I promise you, you are not going to want to miss out on this. So make sure you head over to Instagram and follow me there so that you're in the running. All right, so first up for the hits, and this is a really random product, I know. I know what you're thinking. This is a razor. Um, is the brand Fab or is it Intuition? Oh my gosh. Talk about seeming unprepared. Let me just Google it quick. Ah, so the brand is Chic. It's literally not written anywhere on it. So bizarre. So anyway, this is the Chic Intuition FAB razor and the FAB stands for forwards and backwards. And let me tell you, Ooh, this is a whole nother level of shaving your legs. <laughs> Maybe a lot of you guys watching might wax. I personally cannot wax. It makes me look like a plucked chook. It is a hot damn mess. Ooh, so many horrid memories. I'm a leg shaver. I will usually shave, I mean, let's be real, in winter, not very often. But in summer, you know, I usually have to shave my legs like twice a week. It's tedious, it's a pain in the bum. It's life, we all do it. Well, this has literally changed my life, you guys. It's a razor that can be used, like the name, forwards and backwards. You pretty much rub it on your skin and it shaves it perfectly. You don't have to worry about, you know, like you'll, you'll shave up your leg, you'll get the soap and stuff, and then you'll have to rinse the razor, rinse the hairs out of the razor, then go again. And it's kind of tedious, especially in the shower, you're, you're bending over, you're cramping like an absolute mother, you feel like you're gonna die, you feel like your butt cheek is literally gonna explode off your body. I, I know it all. Okay, I know. This just makes your life so, so easy. So you pretty, and I'm not gonna shave my arm, obviously, like, hello. But you basically, like, you rub it up and down the skin, you know, and it's so quick. I can shave an entire leg literally in 20 seconds flat and I don't have to continually rinse the razor. It's just so easy to use. I had to tell you guys about this. I have been dying over this. I've been using it so much and... Oh, it's, it just makes your life easy. I know this is not sponsored at all. Absolutely not sponsored. You guys just need to try this. I gotcha, ladies. I gotcha. Next up, I've got a couple of skincare items. Firstly, one here from Dermalogica. This is a new product that I've been... Well, I mean, it's not new from them, but it's a product that's new for me to test out. Uh, this is their multivitamin power firm. It's part of their Age Smart line. Essentially, it's like an eye cream. Um, what does it say? Powerful firming complex helps combat lines around the delicate eye area. It's got antioxidants, it's got vitamin C and E and a bunch of other botanical extracts and stuff basically to minimize and firm the skin around your eyes. Now, there are a couple of reasons why I really, really love this and you know, you guys probably know me well enough now to know exactly what I look for in an eye cream and that is no residue left on my skin that's then gonna mess up my makeup. I can slather my eyes in this stuff, like literally, you know, bathe in it. It does not make my concealer crease and it does not leave like a heavy or greasy sort of film on my skin that makes me feel like, oh my gosh, I'm oily, I wanna wash my face. I have been using this one for probably, I mean, it's been over four weeks, definitely. It wasn't just a November thing. I was certainly using it through October as well. Um, I definitely think that it makes a difference. I don't find that it stings or, you know, gets sensitive around the eye area and it smells like raspberry. Like, oh, it smells so good. I remember the first time I tested it, Brandon was like, what's that smell? She smells so good. It's just a really, really nice eye cream that's super potent, that's, you know, easy to use, that doesn't mess with your makeup. I love this. This has replaced all of my other eye creams that I've been using, so I feel like that's a really good indication of how much I love it. All right, so I've got another skincare item really quickly. Um, this is from the brand Fresh, and this is their Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. Now, this is a very interesting product. Hopefully, you can see on camera, it's got actual rose petals in the bottle. Personally, I'm not a big fan of that. Like, I just feel like it... I don't know, I feel like it looks creepy. <laughs> it reminds me of like the preserved body parts that we used to have at university. Like we used to, we used to hack stuff up. It was a good time. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful toner. It smells incredible. It feels so soft on the skin. Doesn't irritate my skin and it doesn't sort of 
like dry the skin out. You know how a lot of toners usually contain alcohol and they usually just, they just make your skin feel like dry and like tight and like not good at all. Um, after using this, I honestly feel like I've applied a moisturizer. Like that is how hydrating it is. I pretty much just use it once a day. I wash my skin in the shower. I jump out. I put a little bit of this on a cotton pad. I do that. And then I go in, you know, with like serums and creams and stuff like that. I've really, really, really been enjoying it. It is super, super hydrating. I do feel like my skin has looked and felt really soft and like just clarified and nice and I just I, I love this and I think I will definitely be repurchasing all right next up for makeup I have a couple of standout items from this month <sighs> oh my goodness and apologies in advance if this is sold out in whatever country that you are in this is literally the best liquid lipstick of the year like no kidding. So this is the Too Faced Melted Matte Gingerbread Girl like liquid lipstick. This is part of their holiday collection. Firstly, the packaging is to die for. It's got like mini little gingerbread ladies on the top. It's so cute. This is what the color looks like. It's a very unique color. It's kind of like a red, but then it's also got like this beautiful brown, like warm brown kind of it's very, very unique color. Like it's so warm, definitely perfect for the holidays. And it also smells and tastes like gingerbread and like no kidding. It is one of the most magical scents I have. Oh, I'm obsessed with this. So not only have I been using this on its own since testing it out, but I've also been mixing it with other lipsticks because when you wear this, your lips actually taste sweet. Like you can taste it's nearly like you've kind of like dipped your lips in sugar kind of a thing. And it doesn't, you know, it's not like a within the first minute thing. Like five hours later, you'll randomly lick your lips and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I can taste the sugar. Like it's actually amazing. But yeah, I've been mixing it with other lipsticks. I am wearing it today sort of around the perimeter of my lips here. And then in the middle, I use Drug Cosmetics nude still dying over drug cosmetics liquid lipsticks like still in my opinion the best formula out there so hydrating and comfortable to wear um i do still have a coupon code for 30 percent off if you guys are interested it is joy i'll pop a link down below and stuff um but like honestly this if you can get your hands on this and it will obviously come back in stock again before christmas i will try to stay on the ball for you guys and i will try to let you know on instagram stories or you know twitter or wherever like straight away as soon as it is back in stock so that you can all run out and snap it up but it is honestly just the most incredible experience. Like I get excited to put this on. I love it. And I just love the color as well. It's so unique. It's so festive. Buy like, oh, standout product of the month. Easily this one. All right, I got another product here that I've been absolutely obsessed with since testing it out. Now the review video for this collection only went up a couple of, Oh, well, I mean, it depends when I upload this video, but not that long ago. Um, but I had already tested it out like quite a little while earlier. This is part of the Bretman Rock ColourPop collaboration. This is their Super Shock Cheek in the color Ooh, She's Blushing. Now, I know you're probably looking at this going like, no, that is way too bright and vibrant. There's no way I can wear that as a blush. It doesn't look like this on the cheeks. It applies and blends out to like this most beautiful, soft, natural kind of tint of color. It just looks like you are naturally flushed, that you are naturally healthy. It doesn't look like you've applied a blush. It leaves absolutely zero texture on the skin, zero like powdery kind of residue. It lasts really, really long during the day. Any, any, any skin tone can use this. So super deep skin tones, perfect. Pale skin tones, perfect. Um, it just really depends on how much you apply. Like, trust me, if you are looking for something that's going to make you look beautiful and flushed and just like not like, oh, she's wearing blush. Like, sometimes it's not what you're going for. Sometimes you just want it to be like, I woke up like this. I'm healthy. I ate all my vegetables last night. I drank like three liters of water yesterday. Like this will get you that and it's cheap. I think this was $8, $8 off Colourpop. Like I am obsessed. Also really wanted to quickly mention the Maybelline Loose Fit Me Setting Powder. You guys have heard me rave on and on and on about this powder before on my channel. It's an incredible loose setting powder. They are lightly tinted. They do come in like a bunch of different shades, but they are for the majority part translucent. Perfect for, you know, pressing into the skin with a sponge to really lock your foundation in. Really, really good oil control. Really, really good like blurring abilities on the skin. Like they just, they make your skin look so perfect and they're obviously Maybelline, so they're super, super affordable. But I did really quickly want to mention it again for you guys because these are finally available in Australia. Um, on all the other videos that I did talking about this powder, everyone was like, Nikia, how do we get these to Australia? And it was near on impossible. I personally had to keep buying mine off eBay or Amazon, have it shipped over from the US and use it that way. But yeah, they're available in Australia. Now you can get them right now at Priceline stores. Um, just, it's a beautiful,
beautiful. Like, in my opinion, the best drugstore setting powder on the market. Like, easily the best. So for my Aussie gals, we got it here now. Finally. Woo! And then lastly for hits, I have a body wash. And it is a little bougie. This is a Tom Ford body wash. Now, backstory behind this, um, I did go on a trip with Tom Ford. I went to a launch event with them in Sydney. It was the launch of their Boys and Girls collection. By the way, those lipsticks are incredible. But um, they were so sweet. And when we got to the hotel room, there were some Tom Ford products in the hotel room, including this body wash. And I remember we got home and I sort of pulled this out of the suitcase. And I was like, oh, I'll have to try that because like Tom Ford fragrances, as we all know, like, yes, they're extremely, extremely expensive, but they're also very, very strong. And and they last a really long time and they're some of the most incredible like really unique scents like they just make beautiful fragrances um and i was like oh like i bet you if i use this body wash it will make me smell amazing wasn't really expecting too much like body wash like well i thought body wash is just body wash right like what can be so special about a body wash oh my goodness oh my goodness this is absolutely the best body wash i have tried in my entire life now this was gifted to me obviously i've since repurchased it it is 100 worth every single cent it's extremely expensive and we got about i feel like so brandon and i and obviously brandon is a large and in charge character like he's six foot four he's like 130 kilograms like all muscle like huge 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 guy so there's like there's like a lot of surface area to clean he goes through quite a lot of body wash it still lasted i'm pretty sure we got two months out of it and we were both using it like every day it makes your skin so incredible soft the scent of this and it's i'm pretty sure it's like a unisex scent this one. Oh my gosh it smells so good oh it's like really beautiful and refreshing the scent lasts on your skin like i could wash myself with this in the morning 5 p.m at night i can still smell it like i could go like this literally still smell it on my skin and it's so soft and velvety when you use it in a shower like it's so hard to explain like it's super super thick like the actual like formula of it is super super thick you only need a tiny tiny amount but it foams up so much and it feels so soft when you're using it in a shower like no word of a lie, Brandon and I were literally every morning, we were like, yes, we get to have a shower and we get to use that Tom Ford body wash. Like that's how much of an impact. I mean, it pro I probably sound like a crazy person. Like literally this is the only shower gel that I've actually been like, shook like shower gel shower gel it's not usually it's watery usually it's quite drying usually it leaves your legs all scaly like it's it's not it's not an exciting thing this is exciting so this is a product and i know it is so expensive but this is the kind of item that i would like budget hard for to be able to you know continually use it's the little things as far as i'm concerned like oh we've just loved this so much i had to share it with you guys it's just honestly so good actually i wonder if it comes in smaller like sample sizes <sighs> I will continue buying this. It is 100% worth like every single dollar. I promise you. All right. So that was it for all the hits, guys. I feel like I had quite a few hits this month. Like I said, like it was a good month of like, you know, finding new, like really like amazing products. Moving on to the shits now. Now the first shit, I don't actually have it here because I gave it to my mom. I know that sounds terrible. Like, oh, you hated something so much. So you just gave it to your mom. <laughs> I'm gonna have to explain. So it is a shampoo. Um, I'll pop like a picture of it right here so you can see. Um, the brand is Hair is Fabric and it actually sits under the Desiem brand. Um, Desiem like have so many incredible products. Um, they're a really, really amazing, innovative company. Um, so this Hair is Fabric shampoo, it's meant to be like a cleansing conditioner as opposed to a traditional shampoo. It actually contains hyaluronic acid and to like really balance the pH of your hair. It's meant to really, really look after your hair and cleanse it and then leave it like super, super shiny and soft and bouncy, but without even having to do the two-step process of like shampooing and conditioner. So as you can imagine, with all of this hair that I have got, like I got a lot of hair, I was like, that sounds like life-changing. Like so excited, ran out and bought it. And let me tell you, it ain't cheap. It was like $60 Australian, I feel, maybe. Got it home, got in the shower, like legged it into the shower. There's a lot of shower products today, isn't there? I just noticed this. Used it to wash my hair, got excited to dry my hair, started drying my hair. Oh my gosh, my hair was literally sticking together. It left the most disgusting oily residue on my hair. And I was like, what the hell? This is an incredibly expensive product. How has this happened? I looked up reviews online. I couldn't find anyone else, you know, like sort of complaining of the same thing. Like my hair was so heavy. It just hung like, oh, it was disgusting. And I was even more annoyed because it does take 
quite a long time to wash my hair and then dry it and then straighten it like it's a saga. Pretty much had to tie my hair up, put a plait in it and I didn't even have clean hair. Like it was an absolute number one waste of money, absolute waste of time. Do not recommend at all. Now the reason behind giving it to my mum, I don't just like palm off, you know, stuff to her that I hate, but she's got a very different hair type to me. Very, very curly, like quite frizzy hair. And I spoke to her about the shampoo and she was like, oh, I'll give it a go because you've already paid for it. You're stuck with it. Um, I'll give it a go and I'll see how it goes on my hair. It might help like tame the frizz or maybe I'll have a different reaction to you kind of a thing. She hasn't actually tested it yet um, i'm still waiting on feedback mom what are you doing but yeah i do not recommend like if you blow dry your hair if you wear it out if you like you know bouncy like lightweight clean hair would not recommend and it's the hydration version out of that range that was the huge problem for me like just no good at all cancelled what a waste of money and the second product in these shits this month is this little guy here so this is the revolution bacon finish luxury baking powder i actually only tested it today for the first time and i already hate it so much that it is going in the video like straight away this is a baking powder but it is not in any way translucent it left big patches of like whiteness underneath my eyes i couldn't dust it off with a brush i feel like it made the skin look quite textured under there i just don't seem to have any luck with the makeup revolution setting powders um they're just they don't work they don't they don't they're not they're not good they're not good i hated the yellow i hated the banana one like that yellow one it left so much texture on my skin i hate this one do not recommend would avoid this at all costs basically the moral to this story. So there you have it guys, all the products I have loved and hated throughout the month of November. Like I said earlier, it was a good month, only two sheets, like that's pretty rare. And um, lots, like lots of products that I'm like hands down obsessed with that I will be continuing to repurchase for a very, very long time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know as always, have you tried any of these products? What were your experiences with them? Did you love them? Did you hate them? Also let me know in the comments, um, you know, what you've been obsessed with using lately. Clearly I need to try it. And also what you've tried that was just horrible horrible. I need to know that too. <laughs> I love you all so, so much and can't wait to chat with you down in the comments below. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye!